this journey, my goal is to discover the secret spice contained within my favorite dish, ayam buah keluar. I'm lucky to be able to live in Indonesia. There is a strong community spirit in working together to achieve a common goal. People are friendly. The culture? Rich. These are some things that will continue to be passed on. But let's not forget the delicious food. The variety of spices in the chain of islands we call home is endless. Kuak adds to this variety and is responsible for bringing life to so many of Indonesia's beloved cuisines. Ayam buah kluak is a famous Peranakan dish which can be found in Indonesian, Malaysian and Singaporean cuisine. It is a dish that is a favorite of Singapore's founding Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew. Although most Peranakan dishes were influenced by Hokkien and Malay cuisine, Ayam Buah Kluak was influenced more by Indonesian cuisine, since Kluak is originally from Indonesia's mangrove swamps. It was brought to Malacca from Java and Sumatra when Malacca was an important trading port in the 15th century. The diversity in our language and people is well known. So it isn't strange to happen upon different names for the same spice in Indonesia. The people here call kluak, pichung. And it is known by different names in other parts of the country. Bakam for Balinese and Simaung for the Minangkabau. Whereas in Toraja they say pamarasan and in Makassar, Kaloa. The use of kluak in cooking has been known from over a thousand years ago in a dish called rawon. Rawon is one of the oldest historically identified dishes of ancient Java. The kluak fruit is widely known as the football fruit because its size and shape is quite identical. The leaves, bark, seeds, and oil of glua can be used as a pesticide for plants, a preservative for meats, and much more. You might have some questions on how glua can be processed in so many ways outside of cooking. This can be done, but only if it is processed properly. Otherwise, you're in for a very bad day. To be consumed, kluak has to go through a natural fermentation process and then boiled many times over. Since before civilization, the kluak plant was used in war. The nuts which contain poison was applied to the tips of arrows to fall the enemies within minutes. Luak is a true Indonesian plant, which has grown here for thousands of years. Its population is often found in the Java Island. Let's see where else we can find this tree. There's Malaysia, the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, Micronesia, and Melanesia. But Indonesia remains the one place where Kluak is most found and cultivated. I am now at Bunguraya village where the people here utilize the wild growing kluak in different ways. Follow me and let's find out more how these people benefit from kluak in the land of spices.
all certainly heard of the use of MSG or monosodium glutamate in cooking. MSG is the sodium salt of glutamic acid and since Kahlua contains glutamic acid, it can be used as a substitute flavor enhancer. Did you know that Kluak can be used to preserve food due to its antimicrobial properties? Here's the how and the why. If 2% of Kluak is combined with 2% of salt, the mixture can preserve fresh ikan gumbu or chub mackerel for up to 6 days. Furthermore, components of the Kluak fruit have antimicrobial properties that can combat a few types of bacteria responsible for the rotting of fishes. The unique applications of Kluak has me even more interested on what makes this spice so involved in the diverse range of Indonesian cuisine. Banyak orang memanfaatkan yang mungkin kita perlu tahu ya apa sih kluak ini. Kluak ini uh, saat di dalam ilmiahnya disebut dengan pangium edule. Pohon ini biasanya tumbuh liar atau semi liar. Kalau di Indonesia sering dikenal dengan kepahiang, kapahiang, kluwek, kluak dan kalau di Sunda kita mengenal dengan Picung atau kalau di Jawa sering dikatakan pucung. Kluak itu bagus karena dia mengandung yang kita sebut uh, flavonoid, ya. Dan dia juga mengandung saponin dan lain-lain. Tetapi kalau di nilai gisinya antara lain juga dia mengandung B1, ya vitamin B1, vitamin C, dan juga dia mengandung fosfor, Fe, ya itu. Kemudian dia juga mengandung kalsium. Wow, dan itu bagus untuk gizi. It is true that kluak can be made use of in different ways. But what is the medical take on this spice's side effect profile? Kalau makan kluak tidak boleh dalam keadaan buah yang mentah. Dia harus diproses karena kalau tidak diproses mengandung asam cyanida dan ini sangat mematikan. Dan yang mungkin paling baik kalau dalam akhir proses itu kita lihat ketika bijinya itu kita belah akan terlihat dia hitam di dalamnya dan mengkilat. Nah itu sudah kualitas unggul bisa diolah dengan nilai gizi yang oke. Okay. Selama ini kita mengenal keluak itu hanya sebagai bumbu dapur. Ternyata itu manfaatnya luar biasa mulai dari daunnya. Daunnya itu bisa sebagai obat cacing. Terus batangnya bisa untuk korek api. Bijinya selain bumbu dapur, dia juga bisa untuk pengawet bahan pangan. Itu sudah diteliti bagus ya. Dan juga bijinya itu bisa mengganti minyak kelapa, bisa diolah menjadi minyak. This shell covered spice is often used in dishes with dark or black broth. Aside from rawon, there are many other dishes that use this black spice. Konrosu, gabus pucung, rongkos, and even some sambal incorporate klua. Indonesia is full of authentic and exotic dishes. Among the many, many different recipes, here is one using klua that you might want to try at home. Rawon is a legendary dish that we've touched upon earlier. Here is how to make it. Fuse eight pieces of ready to use kluak with two tablespoons of warm water and mash. Next, add 10 shallots 
three cloves of garlic, red chili, greater glangle, turmeric, roasted candlenut, one teaspoon of coriander powder, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and then blend these ingredients together. Mix with the cloth paste and continue to blend the mixture finely. Saute the paste and add three stalks of lemongrass. Put in 600 grams of beef shank and 2,000 milliliters of broth already pressure cooked. Then continue with two tablespoons of tamarind water, 10 lime leaves, and mix well until cooked. The aroma of the broth should be splendid. And here is the famous dish using gluak, a recipe that you must try at home. To add to its deliciousness, Incorporate bean sprouts to your tastes. Rawon is the perfect dish for lunch or dinner. Not all spices are created equal. As we've seen before in the land of spices, there are some spices that can be solely relied upon as a source of living, but kluak is not one of them. This fact is perhaps seen in how there usually aren't any farms purposefully cultivating kluak. People of Bunguraya village, like so many others, simply harvest from the wild. From a purely economic perspective, there is little incentive for farmers to cultivate kluak, since it only fetches a low price in the local markets, sometimes only seven to eight thousand rupiah. <laughs> But don't be mistaken, economic value is not always the be all and end all. Value can often be subjective, as is the case with Kluan. Nama saya Kodir, saya seorang petani di kampung sini. Saya memanfaatkan eh, pohon picung buat ya buat buat nambah nambahin gitu, nambah nambahin ekonomi ekonomi saya gitu buat nambah nambahin penghasilan. Ya kebanyakan sih kalau kalau picung ini kebanyakan nama ya yang jatuh sendiri gitu. Cuman kalau kalau pas lagi Ada yang butuh banyak ya kita kita petik tapi ya yang lebih bagusnya mah ya nunggu yang jatuh gitu. Ini pohon, pohon picung itu emang tumbuh dari dulu ya dari dari zaman kakek atau nenek atau entahlah entah dari mana gitu. Cuman ya kalau misalkan ada warga yang mau memanfaatin hasilnya itu memanfaatin buah buat dimakan gitu ya sil boleh gitu nggak nggak ada masalah. Karena ya nggak ada yang sengaja menanam pohon picung karena pohon picung itu ya hanya hanya sebatas buat pelindung itu aja. Yang tadinya dia jatuh si buahnya itu jatuh nggak dimanfaatin sama warga kan tapi dia akan tumbuh seperti ini dan bermanfaat buat bumi. Kalau misalkan nanti dia tumbuh dan eh, 
udah lama udah berapa tahun gitu nanti dia akan tumbuh dengan sendirinya seperti kayak yang indukannya itu A more pertinent matter is its environmental virtue. The villagers here owe a lot to the kluak tree. They need not worry of the surrounding plants when the dry season comes, for the kluak tree is exceptional in holding water. Di pemanfaatan di penyerapan air itu sendiri dikarenakan ya pohon picung ini udah besar, dia itu lebih bagus dibandingkan dengan pohon-pohon yang lain itu. Pohon picung ini lebih lebih terasa manfaatnya di kala musim kemarau karena e, pas musim kemarau pohon picung ini dia itu lebih lebih banyak menyimpan air kan dan kalau misalkan e, di kebun sini nggak ada picung ya kita harus menyiram tanaman harus apa itu karena ya airnya itu terjaga gitu bisa dicukupi sama pohon picung itu. Ini salah satu contoh eh, eh, pohon picung yang memang ini usianya udah udah nyam, udah di atas 30 tahunan lah. Udah kadang-kadang ini nyampe eh, usia 50 tahunan. Dan kalau dibikin kayu ini ya bagus banget gitu. Kayu-kayu dari pohon picung ini bagus banget buat bikin rumah, buat bikin eh, perabotan rumah tangga dan yang lainnya lah. Itu itu bagus banget. Kalau pohon kelubuk ini dahannya itu banyak banget karena fungsi dari dahan ini dia untuk menghasilkan buah dan tingginya itu bisa mencapai 30 meter. This is an example of a good kelubuk fruit. The best are the ones that fall from the tree themselves, which even if it isn't collected, it can still become a tree, only maturing after many years of course. Ini salah satu buah kelowak yang udah tua, yang udah jatuh. Buah kelowak ini memiliki kulit yang begitu tebal. Dia kalau kalau dia jatuh dia masih tetap utuh seperti kayak gini. Walaupun dia mau busuk karena dia begi, udah jatuhnya udah lama. Diperkirakan ini ada saat 2 kilo. Kalau kalau bijinya ada 20 kurang lebih 20 biji. Mari kita coba dibelah dilihat isinya. Ini salah satu buah keluak yang masih yang kita belah yang masih utuh. Kelihatan memang seperti buah alpukat kuning-kuningan, tapi ini buah masih mengandung racun. Kalau kita mau makan masih memerlukan satu banyak proses. Ini kan tadi perkiraan saya 20 biji. 20 biji. Sekarang pas dibelah ada 22. Kita taruh 2 atau 3 hari supaya dia yang kuning-kuningnya hilang karena dia mau busuk sebelum kita kita bisa dipasak The kluak fruit is left to rot and ferment and after some time it begins to dry up This natural process is helped by insects and maggots Nature doesn't shy away from the methods it uses There's no such thing as being too icky. June is a much awaited month for the villagers here because the dry season is kluak season and the fruits are ready to be collected. The dried fruits are then collected and washed. Now the kluak is ready to be processed in order to get rid of the poisons within. Nurdin first prepares and uses firewood to boil the kluak fruit. 
due to the long boiling time needed, and also to cut costs. Masalah kelawak atau dibilang picung, emang dari dulu, dari zaman nenek saya dulu udah ada sebetulnya. Ya dari ya sampai zaman sekarang ya masih turun temurun. Nenek saya suka ngolah picung, karena kan dari dulu nenek itu punya punya pohon pohonnya. Gitu. Kalau tiap pagi ya kita ngambil, ya diolah seperti ini. Ya kalau udah mateng kadang-kadang ada yang ngambil, kadang suka dibawa ke pasar. Kan prosesnya harus direbus dulu supaya mateng. Karena kan kalau apa kalau itu makanan buah, bukan makanan buah, buah beracun tapi bisa untuk dimakan. Ya cara pengolahannya seperti ini itu direbus dulu. Setelah direbus kita dibelah jadi dua kita ambil kita lihat apa udah mateng apa belum kalau yang udah mateng lepas dari batoknya kita baru baru diangkat kalau udah dibelah udah udah diambil dari batoknya direndam tiga tiga hari kita rendam kalau yang bagus itu dari pakai air mengalir tapi kalau sekarang jarang sih paling di rumah pakai apa ember Cuma kan itu harus tiap hari airnya di, di, digenti Karena kan kalau kalau itu berberacun Makanya cara buang air pun harus kita hati-hati Jangan sembarangan buang Takutnya karena apa? Karena hewan Kalau makan air itu bisa-bisa mati From the popular to the lesser known spices At times distinctly different yet similarly useful. Guac proves that there is much beneath the surface, and it is valuable in its own special way. There are many more intriguing spices to come. So let's see Indonesia, see the world, and see today.